number of female students participating in wrestling programs has grown significantly since 1994, when only 804 girls were on wrestling teams across the nation. Today, the number is at more than 14,587, which means that participation has grown significantly, but that girls also still make up only 5.62% of all high school wrestlers in the U.S. Though more high school girls are wrestling every year, many of them, as a Washington Post article published in 2017 suggested, are still grappling for respect. Though California sponsors a girls' state high school championship, it's still pretty common for girls to wrestle boys during dual meets. We spoke to four of the girls in the wrestling team about what the sport means to them, their experiences on the team, and how they respond to people that say it is only a guy sport. Okay, so I'm Crystal Matanzo. I'm a junior Aragon. Um, wrestled since I was born. Uh, it's about 13 years now. Um, I wrestled for Aragon for three years on the U.S. national team, second nation. Uh, my name is Ashia Fajardo, I'm a sophomore at Aragon. And it's my first year at wrestling. Um, I'm Carrie Smith. I'm a sophomore. This is my first year of wrestling. And I'm ranked fifth in CCS. Um, I'm Sarah Macias. Uh, I'm a senior here at Aragon. This is my first year wrestling for Aragon and ever. My mom was the first female wrestler at Aragon. She was the beginning part of wrestling and how girls, girls wrestling started as long with um, Carl Pastor who pioneered girls wrestling and that just inspired me to go on. Well from my mom's experience she wanted to prove that it's not just a guy sport and I believe it's not just a guy sport they can be both girl and guys and that it's showing that girls are not oh we're girly girls in that. It shows that hey look at this we we're, we can be tough. I've been wrestling since I could walk. It's been in my blood for four generations. Um, I had a lot of friends on the wrestling team, so they kind of motivated me to join. Uh, I also come from like, a family of like, fighters and other boxes and stuff. So. Um, Pastor inspired me. I had him in my class last year. And he talked a lot about wrestling, so I thought I'd maybe give him a try. I don't really pay attention to that because wrestling is like a general neutral sport. It's not really like a guy sport, even though it's predominantly guys in it. There is also a like wrestling. They can say, "Oh, it's a guy sport," but then again, once you show what skill you got on the mat, in that, hey, look, that girl has talent, and the girl pins the guy. It just shows. Look at that. Girls actually are tough. Um, I don't think that's true at all. Like, maybe I feel like people think that way because they associate wrestling with like strength, but that's not all. Wrestling is not just brute like, strength. It's you know technique counts. Once you're on the mat, like boy or girl, how good you are of a wrestler is like you know up to you and your training and how much work you put in. Uh, leave everything on the mat. Uh, try your hardest because you don't want to look back at a match that you did and say, oh, I could have done this, I could have done that. You want to be like, I left everything on the mat and you learn what you did wrong and focus on the future. Well, I, you know, times are changing, you know, I don't know, I feel like no one really, I guess it's still sort of that stigma, but I feel like no one really kind of thinks that way. Like, the boys on our team, you know, they don't view us like, oh, the girl wrestlers, like, on the map, we're all wrestlers, you know. We're all a family, you know, everybody is really supportive of the team. And even if it's not up just about wrestling, like, the coaches are really supportive, and they're like my best friends. Actually, everyone on the team is kind of like my best friends. 